Today we will see how to take a packet capture on 40k fiber and we will see how to take a debug as well. Mm. Okay, these are my interfaces. This is my WAN interface. And this is my interface which connects to my Ubuntu system. If you see here, um, this is my IP dot 13, which is connected to firewall interface dot 4. All right, uh, this application is not installed. Okay, anyways, I know that this machine is directly connected to my 40 gate firewall. Okay, so first of all, we will see how to take a snoop on 40 gate firewall from CLI. You can do it from GUI also. Let me just show you the option in GUI. Uh, you might not find this option in 5.6 or 5.6.4. I'm running on 5.6, I'm running on, uh, sorry, uh, 6.0.2. So this feature might not be available with the lower version. So if you create filter here, So this is the interface that receives the traffic. I'm going to put the host IP. I want to capture only 10 packets. So as you can see, uh, my filter is capturing packet and now it's done. So you can s download this. This file will have the extension of pcap, so you will be able to see it in uh, Wireshark. This is one of the easiest way to capture some packet while troubleshooting on GUI.
so you can see that the packet is uh, initiated from 192.168.225.30 to its Google. This is the ping request and then the ping reply. All right, uh, so all together we have 10 packets. Since we uh, inserted uh, in the filter that we just want to capture only 10 packets. All right, um, this is one of the easiest way. So I'll show you on CLI how to do that. So diagnose sniffer packet and then after this you have to enter the interface name so I'm going to put it any because I want to capture a packet from wherever it is coming into the firewall host okay I'm just trying to capture ICMP packet so I'm putting the filter as ICMP on you can see that I'm receiving the packet on port 2 in from 13 towards google.com and uh, this is the number of packets and this is the level of sniffer that you want to run so let me just show you what if I change it to 3 so you can see the amount of information is definitely changing with the level that I'm changing in the filter okay so if you want to see the header information well then uh, uh, you will have to go through all these options to you know capture the packet and uh, see all the options available in the packet so I usually do this which gives me a lot of information about the packet and, uh, and that's more than enough for me to troubleshoot Okay, this is regarding the sniffing of packet and then next we will see how to take a debug and check the packet flow. What happened actually when a packet comes to a firewall. First of all, I'll disable everything whatever is running on firewall. This is a best practice that you can do. Okay, I do this all the time whenever I'm trying to capture some packet. You can also follow this. I'm going to clear the filter whatever was there. And then I'm going to set the filter as source address. and I don't know what is the destination address since um, I'm trying to ping google.com so I'll keep it empty I'm going to capture everything that is coming from dot 13 towards internet so if you want to see all the function name then you have to enable it This will uh, force your uh, firewall to capture packets. Let's say 10. Okay, so it's going to capture only 10 packets. And it is going to show you the entire flow that the packet goes through. And then if I enable it, I should be able to see the packet. So now, once you hit 10 packets it will stop automatically all right okay so let's analyze the packet mm, it was received on root vdom from 
dot 30 towards google.com which was received on port 2 type 8 code 0 which is ICMP request so the packet is trying to find this session and then you can see here the packet is undergoing source NAT from dot 13 to 155 which is my external interface so I'm doing interface based NAT Okay, let me just show you what will happen if I delete the route. Okay, so uh, there is no route available right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start the trace. And I'm going to enable the debug. So I'm going to list down this session which is currently there on the firewall. Okay, the route is still there. I think uh, it is injected automatically. Let me see. Okay, you can see that there is no route here, but then since I defined the interface as WAN, so 
so it is automatically injecting the default route I believe okay let's do one thing let's disable this policy and then let us check I'm sorry guys so if you see here it is showing me the error that denied by policy for policy check policy 0 this is the implicit policy that is there which is denying the traffic. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you really like this video, hit like and please do subscribe to my channel.